What's going on Machine Masters? This is James Jackson with another Machine Masters tutorial. What I'm going to show you in today's tutorial is how to use Machine's drag and drop feature in Machine 2.0 to get audio and MIDI into your DAW of choice. I've already got my machine track loaded up and what I've got here is basically just two scenes and I've got all my instruments, you know, all my groups, everything's up, set up, you know, the way I want my beat to sound. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my main rhythm here, which is uh, the bad, bad, chi bad, bad chick sound. I'm going to take just the first pattern uh, from scene one and I'm going to transfer it as audio into uh, my DAW which for this tutorial I'm going to be using Ableton Live Lite 9 but you should be advised that you can do this with any DAW you choose whether it be Reason 7, Cubase, um, Pro Tools, Logic, even GarageBand this drag and drop feature will work so for this sound and I'm gonna play it for you now So as you can see, it's just a simple 16th note arpeggiation of the same four notes. I'm going to drag that into Ableton Live Live, Live 9 Lite as an audio track. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solo it, which I've already done. Um, and I'm going to actually adjust my machine window so I can have both, uh, both programs open and visible. So that's good enough for me. So everybody remembers in machine 1.8, right over here where the group uh, menu was, uh, you used to have the ability to click on it and give you all kind of options, you know, how to export, um, how to, you know, if you could, you give you the option to save the group and give you the option to, you know, import MIDI, export MIDI. This is what it looks like in 2.0. See, it's, you know, save group as, save group, save with samples. Uh, import MIDI, export MIDI, um, but it doesn't give you what 1.8 did was the drag and drop option. The reason being, they've actually moved drag and drop uh, for both audio and, and MIDI in 2.0 to physical buttons, which you can find over here on the far right side. So again, I've got my sound right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this as audio into Ableton Live 9. So you can see on the left side, this one is for MIDI, and on the right side, this one is for audio, if you couldn't tell by the waveform, and for MIDI, if you can tell by the blocks. So I'm gonna drag this as audio. So the same method applies, you just click and hold, and now I can drop this right into clip one of my audio track in Ableton Live 9. So now I'm going to go over to another track. Uh, let's try, um, I'll just go to my bass line. And my bass line, I actually am using two different instruments for the bass line. Uh, both from uh, Rob Pappen's Sub Boom Bass. So the first one kind of like a droppy bass and the second one is is a synth is a sine wave i'm going to drag and drop this group as midi and the same method applies i just want to make sure i have soloed the sounds that i want to use out the group so if there was you know you know another sound here on sound three i would mute that if i didn't want to use that one and all i'm going to do is i'm going to come up to the drag and drop midi button and click and hold and once you click and hold, you'll see it'll say pattern one, and you just drag it right into your DAW. And there it is. All right, and now that I've got my audio dragged into Ableton Live, and I've got the MIDI dragged into Ableton Live, I'm going to show you that it works. So you can double click on the clip here, and you can actually see uh, the audio file uh, from the arpeggiation is there. And let me mute this. And I'm going to just uh, launch it from my Ableton launch pad, and you'll see. And now when I click over to the MIDI tab, you can see that the MIDI data is in there. So I'm going to just go ahead and import a, uh, or input a VST. Uh, just go with, um, uh, let's go with Massive. 
going to throw Massive in there. And since it is just MIDI data that was transferred over from Machine, uh, you can put any uh, VST in there and any sound you want. So now I'm going to uh, go into Solo, Massive. And now when I launch that clip on Massive, you'll see... So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you use the drag and drop method in Machine 2.0 to get your audio and your MIDI into your DAWs of choice. Make sure you head over to machinemasters.com. Uh, sign up for the website. Uh, you can take part in our sample pack Saturdays, and you can also be entered in our monthly beat battles, which are going to be uh, critiqued by the one and only Ill Mind. So make sure you head over to machinemasters.com and sign up today. This is James Jackson signing off. Peace.